Now, so we've completed up to this point, um, and now we need to add a cluster quorum device. There's multiple ways that you can add a cluster quorum device, uh, but perhaps the easiest is to use an SMB share. And I noted that as a prerequisite to have a, a small SMB share. So we will go ahead and uh, check that SMB share that I already created and then show you how to add that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do now is go over and take a look at this file share that I had created. So if you're not sure how to do that, you can just, uh, we'll just create a new share. We'll say task, new share, and it'll be SMB share, quick. And we don't need a custom path. And we'll just call this test um, because we don't really care about it. We're not going to use this one. Now, we don't want to allow caching because this is used for a quorum. So we ideally would not have caching allowed. And the default permission should be fine. We say next. And actually, I'm going to copy the name. Well, we'll copy the name in a minute. Click create. Close. OK. So we now have a test share. Now we need to access this, and it's easiest if we use the domain name, but we only need the host name. We don't need the fully qualified name. Okay, so now we go back over into our cluster, and we can browse that and see. We can just type backslash, backslash, and then the host name, and then another backslash, and it's going to bring up the file browser, and it's going to show me the shares available. And you can see I have test available. And I also have the one I created for this, SQL FC 3.4. So we are going to right-click on the cluster and say More Actions, Configure Cluster Quorum Settings. It wants you to read the, uh, the wizard how-to. But basically, it's telling you that um, having a quorum device is a good thing, especially if you have an even number of nodes, which is our case. And we want to specifically select the quorum witness. And we want to use the file share. You could also use a cloud or a di shared disk or none. That's what it was before. Um, and now we're going to paste. Uh, we need the backslash backslash slash and browse oops it did not bring it up show shared folders there we go that's the one that we want to use that is what we want but for some reason it added an extra slash in between take that out so there's our path it's um, backslash backslash the system name, and then the share name. And that's what it's going to configure. We'll say next. And that was quick success. So you can see that we now have a file share witness, and that's online. So we now have a Windows Server failover cluster with a quorum device. OK, so that completed this step in the process. On to the next items.